This has proven to be a world of movie-worthy stuff. As I chip into the crown, what we see on top is not the original crown. I wondered why it came flush to the flue. No proper mason to do that. And you got three quarter inch gap here. The top of the brick original, the original crown was cracked. I might have done it. Was needed, obviously needed something done to it because somebody came and put on that much. It's a mess. You can't smear a half inch of mortar over a bastardized crown. It just is not going to work for you. You're putting a band-aid on something that needs stitches. You remove it all the way down to the brick, wet the brick down thoroughly, put on your tight bed, put rags, preferably burlap, soak them in water, twist them out, set it on your new crown material that you feathered out like I showed you guys. I know it did. Surround it in plastic and come back the next day and you won't need to be putting skim coats on in five years Your work is going to last and last and last and that's what I'm all about and I certainly ain't here for my ego I hope I'm not I'm here to try to share what I've been taught by the uh, Long road of doing a lot a lot of chimneys. You just can't skim coat a top and if you can, this guy probably skim coated this top for like $45. He did no service for anyone. Uh, if I do a crown, my crown started at $325. I've never been called back in 30 years. I've never been called back because a crown didn't last. Unless it was lightning struck or something. I've never come across that. Uh, just a little word on crowns. Back to work. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Okay, yeah, now that could work. 